Hello, my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another Rapture Packed episode of Chris the Butcher. I'm for us. And whatever time it is in your world, we're having oh, one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. So, I had to nip in time with Lou today. And while she was doing something or other, whatever it was, printing some out in the library, uh, I nipped into Sainsbury's. Not in the pretense of buying anything, but I came across this. Taste the difference. Uh, Moroccan style chicken and chickpea soup. It's pretty healthy for me, apart from it's got fucking shitload of salt in it, but hey, who cares? Uh... <laughs> Uh, and it's got a sign there, but a sign. Go on, come on, focus. Oh, focus. 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 Chicken! <laughs> it was two quid. Two quid, brothers and sisters. But a 600 gram, it says, quite a weighty tub of uh, chicken soup. Moroccan style, apparently. It's low in fat, source of protein. Uh, our fragrant. Hang on, the lighting here, the lighting and the writing are not mixing. Can't see it for fuck's sake. Our fragrant tagine inspired tomato soup is scented with a aromatic Ras Al Hanunt blend it? <laughs> of spice and a dash of honey. We stir in British chicken, chickpeas, and green lentils for texture and add juicy dried apricots for a subtle sweetness. That's why you can taste the difference. Right. I do apologise that. Uh, I could not, I couldn't fucking see it proper. My eyes would not focus on that. And now will the fucking camera. Come on. Uh, you, you can read it better than I can. Holy shit. Uh, and there's absolutely no allergens in it, so I can't shout anything out, so I don't just pick something out at random. Cardamon! It's not an allergen, I just fancy shouting some up. Feel a bit left out, but I can't shout an allergen out. <laughs> uh, it's two of your five a day, and it's microwavable, or I can cook it on the hob. I said the hob. Uh, I'm going to throw it in microwave. 900 watt, 900 watt power microwave, five minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, you just take, remove the lid, replace loose lid, place directly into microwave. During heating, stir halfway. Recover and continue eating. Stir thoroughly after heating. Check food is piping hot. Allow to stand for one minute. Do not reheat once cooled. All cooking appliances vary. This is a guideline only. I'd say get, let's get down here and have a look at it. But we're going after it, Even though it, I want to be taking the top off and you're looking at a pot of fucking soup. you kind of got an aerial view, haven't you, there? And that... That is it. Now, can you see now? <laughs> Doesn't look really appetising, do you? It was two quid. And there's a hefty amount of soup there. I'll feed two of you, so I think when it's eat two of you, I'm going to eat this all for myself, to me, for my dinner. You know what I mean? Anyway, right. Put the lid loosely on. And in the microwave, I can't, I can't do five second bursts in my microwave. So I'm going to have to run it for 5 minutes uh, and 40 seconds. There's the lid. 
There is the soup. Holy shit. It is absolutely... I can't really pick it up. That is so fucking hot. It smells really good though. I know it's got chickpea in it and stuff like that. I know it might be a little bit spicy, but not spicy hot. It might give me heartburn. In fact, there's a... I think there's a 90% chance it's going to give me heartburn. But yeah, it says leave for a minute. Why specific minute? Because that's not going to do fuck all in a minute. I might just leave that for about five fucking minutes. Give it five times fucking more chance to cool down a bit before I lose the inside of me fucking gob. Right, anyway, I'll let that cool a bit then we'll get up here and slide it down me gizzard. There, brothers and sisters. Half my head's missing and I'm using my trusty... Oh, fucking hell, I'll that then. And I'm using my trusty yellow rag just so... I can hold the fucking pot because the pot is fucking red up, man. Uh, I would put it in a bowl, but uh, I can't be asked washing any. And anyway, this is the review, isn't it? Get it out straight out of the tub. Damn the gizzard. Fucking answer. You know what? Two two quid for a pot of soup is that is that dear? It's nice and thick. I'll tell you what, it's tasty as well. But it should do. It's got seventeen million grams of salt in it. Salt always makes things better, doesn't it? Yeah. I like you say though, it's very tomatoey, but not like a tomato soup. Tomatoey. It's got some nice spices, absolutely no heat apart from the thing itself is hotter than the fucking sun. Well, yeah, two quid, I'd do two of that with a bit of crusty bread or a bit of tiger bread with it. A bit of tiger baguette, tiger all the way, great! Thanks, Tony. So, yeah, away. It's got to be careful, it's still my rock. But yeah, I'll eat that. No wrong with that at all. Absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Like I said, tin of vine soup's about a quid in it. Uh, I mean, you can get cheaper ones for like 30 odd p and stuff like that. But you get what you pay for, it's got proper quality ingredients. It's, it's, it's been made proper, look, look at that on the spoon. See if it'll focus. If it doesn't, tough shit. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I don't know, they're fucking dangle there. Yeah, brothers and sisters, fucking fly, cheeky bastard. Did you see that now? <laughs> Missed it. So that there was the taste of difference Moroccan style chicken and chickpea soup. And in my honest opinion, it was two quid, two nicker. 200 pence uh it was it was nice it was nice would i pay two quid for a soup again fucking no i've done it now but i have to do it again but hey i liked it if you like this press like comment share it on your social media and subscribe and become a family member of hashtag team ctb where i fucking love you